guys, it's Ivy Craft here. Um, or you can just call me Ivan, my real name. Right now, we're showcasing all about the new modes. Well, they're not new, but they're just modes in the game if you don't know about them. Right now, I'm still in survival mode. Oh, and also comment down below what this says. And I, and, um, and yeah. So, right now, I made this cool world, you know. 2019 it is 4th of july today and also a new update in minecraft it's called 1 1.14 also known as village pillage update or you can just call it village and pillage update so um so today we're going to be showcasing all about the these um these things that you can do and everything else. So I'm gonna show you about everything. So I'm just gonna quickly exit my game. Well, first I'm going to save it. Um, so I just, so if you wanna save your game, press this button right there. It'll get you to this menu. Then you go all the way down to that. Then you press X on it. Then you, then you go down one and press X on that, and then it saves the world that you made. Then do the same thing here. Press X on that, though. And then just keep pressing X, but on the very bottoms of everything. What the? <laughs> Uh-oh. Glitch? No, that just happens. They usually have strange texts here. So... Yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you about the new Village and Pillage update and about the modes. Um, so, right now, I'm in survival mode. Norm difficulty normal. I can even change my difficulty to hard um, e and easy and what is this? peaceful. And peaceful, which means there are no mobs, like no... Like, no monsters at night or nothing. They can't spawn. So, I'm going to go into normal mode. So, as you can see, I changed the modes by just by just flicking this around. And, yeah. So, I'm going to leave it on normal. And then I, I go up with this. Then I can move to side to side. And as you can see, this is creative. So, creative is a mode where you're able to just do whatever you do whatever you desire, like just build whatever you want. That's how I made that world and built that in the sky. Now, if you don't know, in Minecraft, things don't really have gravity. I don't know why. The only things that have gravity are sands, gravel, um, and what else? Uh, I'm not too sure. But, anyways, um... Now that I'm in creative, I can load my world and watch. So I'm loading in the world. And as you can see, watch what happens if I press... Look, I don't have a health bar or a hunger bar. So watch what happens if I press X two times. Look at the screen when I press it. Boom, I can fly. If I press X two times, I can fly. Well, you need to press... Well, you need to press it two times, like, while you're still in the air, because watch. If I press it once, and then I press it while I'm still on the ground, it doesn't work. So I need to, like, just spam it twice, and then boom, I can fly. So, if I also press square, I can go into a creative menu where I can pick any block. So, I can move, move, move the joystick around to pick a different block. Now, whatever block I want to choose and put in my inventory, like, let's say, let's get an oak plank. I press X on it, and boom. And you know how to place things. I've, 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 te I've teached this in a, in a other video. Boom. And also, I can break it, except I break things instantly, and I don't, and they don't go out of my inventory when I place them. And also, if I want to get rid of them, press square, grab it by pressing X, and I can move it around, and then just put it right, and then just put in any slot, 
back here and then just press circle and you don't have the block anymore. So, so, do you, so what's also cool is that there are spawn eggs. You cannot get these in creative. I mean, in survival. But you can get these by using commands, which I don't have because I play on, I play on a PS4. So, there's also mob spawners, which you also can't get in survival, but they do spawn randomly in my like, cave systems. Now, these spawn eggs, as you can see, they're different things. So I'm going to show you the new mobs in the game. Um, I'm not going to show you every single mob um, that that we've had since the start of Minecraft, but maybe you should just go check out a video if you want to know about every single mob. Now, ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, it's real. Uh, anyways, so there are some new mobs. So there are wandering traders. There are ravagers, pillagers, and, um, well, I'm going to show you what villagers look like in a second. They look different. I think that's all, all the new mobs they added. I think at least. Maybe. Anyways, let's just get straight into this. So, what I do is I left click on this button with one of the eggs in my hand and it spawns a mob. A wandering trader. So a wandering trader is a um is is a mob that can is a mob that just spawns randomly around your world, you know, and it wants to trade with you. So just press this button left click if you want if you want to trade with it. Now, it's also got some trader llamas. Can't do anything with them except for if you hit them, they'll spit at you. But not the same thing in survival because in survival, I mean creative, because in creative mode, you are nothing to anything. Nothing will hurt you. Nothing cares about you. So, these also spawn... So, yeah, they'll just spawn randomly, even sometimes they'll spawn in villages a lot. Now, there's been a new texture to the villages, I mean, to the villagers in the game, and the villager houses themselves. Now, look, this villager, um, this is a farmer, at least, no, that's a fisherman. Let's see. So, there are a lot of different kinds of villagers. Check. Unpause. Okay. So, okay. Sorry for the little pause thing. I just needed a little bit of a thing here. Um, anyways, let's get straight in to our second mob called the Ravager. Now, just do the same thing like I did when when you did with the Wandering Trader. It's just every the same button to click to place a mob down on every single spawning. Now, check out the Ravager. This thing is giant. Now, its ability is it does not like villagers at all. Watch, it's heading to towards that villager. Oh, no. He's got it. No, villager run. Oh, God. And also, he can break leaves, grass, and flowers, and crops, and all kinds of other things. Now, there's also... So, these things usually spawn in raids, which are things that happen... When you kill a head villager. If you don't know what a head villager is, I mean a head pillager. Um, sorry for a little mob confusion. This is a pillager. It's a mob with the new weapon called a crossbow. Can you stop running away from me? He's trying to get the iron golem. Wh wh what are you doing? He just shot. He just shot an arrow. Hey, I'm just trying to showcase mobs. Can you not do that, iron golem? Now, I'll show you about an iron golem right now, but first let's get to the pillagers. Pillagers, mobs that spawn in pillager outposts. Now, these are like new structures that, you know, spawn randomly and generate. One time I even went in the world with a pillager outpost in the middle of a village, which I've never seen before. Oh, hey, sheep. Punch the sheep. Punch the sheep. 
And anyways, do you know what's cool about them? They can actually, um, they can actually go on top of a Ravager. Watch. So, this, this Pillager will ride this Ravager. Uh, sometimes it takes a bit of time, but, but, but if you get lucky enough, you will see this guy on top of this big guy's back. Now, if you want to hear the noise of a pillager and a ravager, um, it sounds very intimidating. First, we're going to go with a, a ravager. So, I'm just going to turn this up just a little bit. Hope you guys can hear it. All right, here it comes. <laughs> it sounds very creepy. Yep, sounds like that. Now let's get to a pillager. Speak. Now, if you hit a mob, um, they do make noises. I forgot to tell you that in like a lot of. So, anyways, let's. And also the wandering trader too. He makes some strange noises. Ah no! Anyways, let's just turn this down. Anyway. Done. Anyways, so we've also got a monster spawner. Place it down by pressing the button you would usually press to place down something. Then press this button with a spawn egg in your hand, any spawn egg in it with with this button so just click so click it on here and look a pillager is in there and it will actually spawn pillagers so yeah this also works with other mobs too not just pillagers anyways uh let's just get to other things now i think that's all i can show for now but um all I can say is, well, happy, happy 4th and July. Here we go. Here comes the fireworks. I'll show you about fireworks in a, another video. All right. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you like the fireworks. Goodbye.